Hey guys, so I'm talking to Mary and recording myself. I thought I'll talk about it right now and then I won't have to repeat myself. So this is the Karate Kid right now. It's a brain, it sends electrical impulses through your brain. So I'm shocking my brain to, um, so as I'm shocking my brain, I'm having shockingly good ideas as well. <laughs> so, I've been thinking about this for like many years. It's not because I'm smart, it's because it's pretty basic, right? There's problems in the world and if you solve problems, then people pay you for it. So it's not because I'm smart, there's problems and you've got to solve it. So the problem right now is, um, if you go to Uber, the driver rates the passenger and the passenger drives a, drive, rates the driver. Airbnb is the same. Both those systems work so much better. Drivers are happy, passengers, people on the cars are happy because you're rating each other. If you could not rate the passenger and you can only drive do the driver, which is what most businesses do, then the passenger might be really, really rude or terrible and the driver cannot say anything and they'll just keep being rude. And then overall, as the passengers act worse and worse because there's no um, consequences for their bad actions, then the drivers will be very unhappy. And it just gets worse and worse. You know what I mean? So that's why Airbnb, Uber, I think eBay, I think, I think eBay you can rate each other as well. These platforms work so, 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 so much better, right? But where it doesn't, where the world is suffering and it's causing a lot of problems in our industry and a lot of other industries is when you can rate the business, but the business can't rate you back. For example, if you go online, people will go to a restaurant and rate the restaurant. I went to the restaurant and I had to wait 20 minutes and the later it was really rude and they didn't give me my eyes and I walked out. I was really unhappy, it was a terrible experience. And they put a bad rating against the customer. But what if the customer walked in, didn't have shoes on, yelled at someone and was really bad customer? No one knows that because no one said the full truth, right? So there's an example online of a real one where the customer rated the restaurant and said they were really bad, really rude, no service, my food had this, it was terrible, and they rated them with a bad rating. So the owner went to their CCTV and recorded the customer come in. The customer walked in, stood in line for like maybe not even 30 seconds, and walked out. Nothing even happened. Just stood in line. Like 20 seconds. Counted 10, counted 20, and walked out. And put this bad review on with all these false accusations. And then the owner took that CCT footage and put it online. So then... It's very unfair, again, for these companies, right? So that's what's happening in our industry. The customer can act rude, manipulate, lie, cheat, deceit, do everything humanly possible, and they do it. Um, and everybody you speak to in trades will tell you that's what customers will do. Um, and um, sorry, mate, I'll call you right back. Um, but there's no way to rate the customers. So now as customers catch on to that, then they just, the ones that are bad get worse and the other ones that are not so bad start to think, well, I can do that as well. I can complain about the company and get a discount even though they did nothing wrong because they'll just be nice, nice, nice. They have no choice, right? And the people that are nice will always be nice. I mean, so we're not talking about the nice people. And if you're one of the nice customers, that's good. But the majority of people are not nice, you know, and that's um, they're going to try to take advantage of the situation. You know? So again, because they're not they're not bad people, they just they don't really think of their actions. You know, so the plan is we create a new business where we talk to all the tradespeople, where they will then on a platform start to review the customers. So we would have to go through some kind of process where, because we can't just put 
the customer's information online without verifying did they actually do something bad, what were they like, what happened, blah, blah. So the point is customers will stop acting terrible and because they get reviewed as well. And companies can search up customers and say, are they a good customer? Are they a bad customer? They can do some kind of search before they go to this customer's house. You know? And then that's the point of it. And somehow we've got to make this platform work. How do we overcome privacy issues? Can we possibly send the customer like a letter saying, this is the evidence, this is what you've done wrong make your payment and then it'll be okay or fix this issue will be okay or if you don't then we will put you onto the register which is an online register for all these tradespeople to verify you so if you have a bad customer living in you know Bentley at this address with this name and if they've done something bad we put it online then and they're looking for another tradesperson other tradespeople won't go there because they know this is a bad customer. So this customer will stop being a bad customer. You know, if they want to have tradespeople in the future, they have to act within, you know, our agreed upon the way we deal with each other. That's our point of it. Mary, any questions that I didn't answer? Okay. Alright, cool. That's it. Alright, I'll um, any other questions and I'll catch you soon. Okay, catch you back.